<laughs> Holy shit! So fucking big! What are you gonna do with it? Should I rip it off? You should rip it off. Should I? Or should we just let it keep growing? Do you want to make it big? I mean, it's it's, it's not, already at least four it's foot. It's gonna snow tonight. Let's leave it because there's so much ice up there that is not fall. Yo, hold on. I got twice. Yo, <clears throat> take that! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you motherfucker. Oh, my V band. Your car is dirty if you didn't drive it in the snow. It's just a random video. Have no idea what we're gonna do today, but I'm just gonna film for any kind of random shenanigans that happens. They can't see that. Oh, they can see it now. Sad face. Poor guy. That's so, so sad. We got a fan. Oh, super ghetto zip here. You do it. Oh, that's how you open it. God, yeah, because, uh, freaking criminy. Had to cut that out just so this would close with the inner corner. Super modification of the bracket, I guess. It's so sad outside. Look how white it's inside. Not even freaking Christmas, and it's snowing. Still. So the weather has forecasted a 17. One. Metric fuck ton snow, and everything I own is rear-wheel drive and lowered. Everything is lowered and rear-wheel drive. By a metric fuck ton, we mean 19 inches of snow in Iowa. One metric fuck ton. Exact measure. If it was uh, standard, I think it would be two standard fuck tons, or two and a half. Whatever the fuck that means. Oh, is that how we clean cars today? How do you think the Mercedes is so clean? You sprayed bottled water on it. I washed the whole car. I'm gonna go inside, get this. I'm gonna spray it, wash the whole car this way. Life's rough, man. Okay. We'll be right back with your daily broadcast. We're back with the broadcast, and as you can see, this beautiful water that has the fuck did you put in it? Soap. You just put soap in it. That smells delightful. Oh. That's a creeper. You're a creeper. <laughs> You're so strong. Look how amazing this cleaner is. For one price of go fuck yourself, you can have your very own spray bottle full of soapy water. For $10.99, I will make some dog dish soap in the bottle for you. People, oh no, don't use dog dish soap to wash the car. Fuck you, my paint's ruined anyway. It's all over the spray. Because people at my house are like, oh, let's paint this whole house with magical hood. Show myself back to my story. The people next door were like, let's paint our house with a spray gun. And the one day I was like, I'm gonna leave my car outside. And it was like, I come home like, fuck, there is overspray over my entire car and the shit is just ruined. So I did the next logical thing turbo. Man, my fucking paint's ruined, my suspension's blown. What are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna turbo it. My brakes are shit, what are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna turbo it. Oh, my transmission is dying. What are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna fucking turbo it. Okay, we haven't actually said how many miles are on this car, but with just a quick glimpse, let us know in the comments how many miles you actually think are on this car. It's that time of year. Tax season is right around the corner, and I've been uh, slacking on trying to save money for my manifold. I've been getting all the things that I need left for my T4. Hold on, everybody got to see this. Oh no. Let me get my tall ass in this car with my knees that are always in the way. We have a solution. Wow. And then you go to get out. Yep, and holding some steady booze, fucking people's life up on the highway. Full luxury car. Heated seats. Heated steering wheel. Locked back door. Are you gonna even wipe this down? I gotta go get another bottle with not soap in it. For five dollars? Not one, <laughs> but two bottles! <laughs> <laughs> for the price of $10.99! Once I get my tax return back, I'll have my orders placed for a clutch and a manifold, and that's actually the last thing I need. I've been slowly gathering small parts, like V-band clamps and rings and things like that for my turbo. I got a T4 hot side. So I'm getting rid of the T3 because I'd rather my engine not choke on that. As soon as I get all that stuff in, I'm going to bring the car here and I'm going to start getting down on it. Hopefully I can get it done within You're two gonna days. You're going to get down on your car? What? 
you're gonna go down on your car? I mean, like, I don't judge, but I just want to know the shit you're into, so I, like, I'm not caught off guard by it. Like, if I come over to your house one day, I'm like, hey, shut. Oh, God, that's not where that goes. <laughs> Flexus. Flexus. Flexing on them. Well, we do every Craigslist ad in existence. Don't get a picture of a license plate. They're gonna find my address that is posted in the fucking listing. If you do that, stop. I will find you and I will complain. I'm probably just gonna follow this little update video. Got some stories to tell or whatever here coming on soon. I think, I think he's returning. Coming back with some more water that we don't need. Oh, oh God, he's back. Oh my God, I came down with that thing. I hit that red brick and just like both arms flared and I was sliding. That giant icicle thought it was going to break my face. I'm like, oh, no! <laughs> you were about to lose it! I was like, this is how I want to die! You know about this engine? Like, what it did? Nope, but we can tell that story another day because this video is going to be pretty long here soon. We're really looking forward to talking about that piece of shit. Okay, well, that's something that we can talk about. It's going to be another story, I suppose. We can tell a story about this, how we got it, why we're not doing it anymore, and why I'm getting it instead. And then I'm gonna tell a story about how I got my 240 and my Craigslist trade-up life that I had to deal with for the last two years. And I'll start with the reason why I had to trade up and the reason why I got rid of the S13 that is posted way back on my channel. If you guys go look, you'll see a couple videos of it. I wasn't real too big into filming back then. Yeah, rest in peace for real. I miss that car, but things are better now. Lots of stuff I can talk about. So if you something that you guys are interested in, to seeing the kind of things that I've uh, traded up for, and a lot of the stuff that I traded up for is definitely worth talking about, definitely worth showing. I've got videos, pictures, everything, you name it. If you guys are interested in that and want to see something like that, stick around, hit the subscribe button. Other than that, like, comment, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time. What? You like? You like? You like? You like? You like? You like?